Jesus is not even in our vocabulary. Oh, are you hear me? It's a place, my God, where we just say, Jesus, you know what I need. Lord, you know what I need. You don't even tell your husband. You just say, Lord, you know what I need. You don't even tell your truth. You say, Lord, you know what I need. See, the promised land, where you understand there is fulfillment, where you understand there is manifestation, what's happening is, my God, So what's happening in the delay of manifestation is uh, that discouragement is setting in. Doubt is setting in. And the Lord is saying, now this is where I develop your trust and your dependency. What's happening is beginning to doubt. Did God hear me? He heard you. But he's developing your trust and your dependency upon him. Because the promised land is just ahead. That means you can't depend on people. You can listen here. Some people say, I'll support you. Now, some people say, listen here, you know I'm coming. Now, some people say, listen here, bro brother, I'm with you. Now, glory to God. Now, but God will ultimately say, listen here, don't put your confidence and trust in man. Now, you need to begin to trust me. Now, see, the Bible begins to say, cursed is the man that put his trust in man. Now, but blessed is the man that put his trust in the Lord. Now, see, we're going in a place where we can't do nothing but trust the Lord. Now, we're going in a place where we can't look, glory to God, huh? and that what people will support us, huh? or if people don't support us, huh? we can't look around. Huh? We got to focus on Jesus. Huh? See, when Peter began to look around, huh? Peter began to sink. Huh? See, you got to stay walking on the water, baby. Huh? You ain't got time to be looking around. Huh? You ain't got time to be looking at situations and circumstances huh? that are brewing in the elements of your life. Huh? You must understand huh? that the promised land is just a school to preach and went to school to teach to take the wind out of your spiritual selves you gotta understand if Jesus can get fishermen and tax collectors and everyday people and tent makers and begin to put an anointing on their life and begin to cause them to understand there's something better if he can get glory to God a brother named Abe hallelujah from out of the earth of the Chaldeans where they all types of God and Allah was the moon God a chief God that's who Islam worship if he can get him and begin to cause him to believe cause him to walk by faith and not by sight we gotta begin to understand it's time to shake some stuff off it's time to cut some people loose it's time to get a on God like never before. Huh? It's time to get in a place of prayer. Huh? And understand that's the most important meal of the day. Huh? It's prayer and the word. Huh? Oh God, somebody help me. Huh? You got to understand huh? to go to the next place huh? to get to the promised land. Huh? It's going to take you praying. Huh? It's going to take you getting in the word of God. Huh? It's going to take you applying that word. Huh? My God, see in Joshua 1 and 8. Huh? Oh my God. Uh, 
He, he said, this book of the law shall not depart up out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. And watch this. He said, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Not our favorite verses, uh, chapters that touch on the soft areas of our life, uh, but even the verses and chapters uh, that cut us coming in uh, and cut us coming out. Uh, I'm talking about the Word of God. Uh, it's more powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Uh, that means it will cut going in uh, and it will cut coming out. Uh, we got to understand that going to the promised land, uh, we got to allow the Word of God uh, to cut some wicked things out. Uh, stuff back because what glory to God is on this side that's not of God can I go on that side that's the purpose of the wilderness is to kill everything that doesn't line up with God because what is not of God cannot experience his promise say it again what is not of God cannot experience his promise. Jesus. Amen. He said by observing and doing mm -hmm. he said for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Right. And then thou shalt have good success. We can't do it being wishy-washy. Here today, gone tomorrow. The Bible says in Matthew 6 and 33, seeking first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. What shall be added? The promises of God, the blessings of God, the miracles of God, the healing that is applied in God's word. We got to understand things that have been spoken. See, it happens when we begin to obey and apply his word. That's when we get manifestation. See, he's to, to them that love him now to them that love him takes me to the book of John now, the Bible said if you love me keep my commandments Amen. so that applies to those that keep his word I have not seen it have not heard neither has it entered in the heart of man the things that God had prepared for them that love him Amen. those who are obedient the promised land is just ahead. Amen. 